hands-on with the Envoy Pro EX Thunderbolt 3 SSD. A fast, portable, bus-powered drive at a reasonable price. So we got the one terabyte version of the Envoy Pro EX SSD from OWC, and this is a bus powered external drive that's very portable, pocketable, and it comes with a built in Thunderbolt 3 cable. So inside the box, you have some styrofoam, and you also have this little piece of documentation telling you how to get things set up and whatnot. It's pretty self explanatory. So let's go ahead and get it out of the box. So inside, you do have a little carrying bag. So let's just remove the Envoy Pro EX from its back and you can see it right there, very pocketable, portable drive. And again, that built-in Thunderbolt 3 cable, very nice design as well, it's all aluminum and there's no fans or anything to keep it cool, no moving parts, so it relies on that aluminum enclosure to work basically as a giant heat sink. And that Thunderbolt 3 cable, while it is built-in, is about half a foot long, so it's gonna be long enough Especially if you're a MacBook Pro user on the go, this will of course work with the 2016 and 2017 MacBook Pro, any MacBook or iMac for that matter, that features Thunderbolt 3, this will work with. Now the design of the Envoy Pro EX is fairly understated. You have some non-slip pads on the bottom, you have that activity light on front, and you have a tiny OWC logo in gray on top of the device. You can see how it compares with my iPhone 10, confirming how small this device is. Again, very pocketable, and there are those ridges. I really like that design, looks great. Now that's all good and all, but how does the OWC Envoy Pro EX actually perform, especially when considering that a one terabyte version will set you back about 500 bucks? How does that stack up with other drives that Mac users may be considering, such as the Samsung T5 or even the Sonnet Fusion SSD? Well, we're gonna run a few speed tests, of course, to check it out to see if it lives up to its claims. Let's go ahead and plug it into my Thunderbolt 3 enabled MacBook Pro. You can see that activity light. Man, I really don't like those lights. I wish you could disable them, but it seems like everybody uses these bright activity lights these days, so. You know, something you just have to deal with. So here is the Blackmagic disk speed test. You can see about 700 megabytes write per second and about a thousand or so megabytes read. Now let's try a custom sequential test using Quick Bench. This will usually get us close to the manufacturer speed rating. So let's go ahead and fire it up here. You can see about 730 megabytes average on write and about 1430 megabytes average on read. So not too far from the 1800 maximum throughput that is advertised by OWC. So this thing is very, very speedy. It's not gonna be as speedy as the drive inside your MacBook Pro, but for a reasonable price, it crushes drives like the Samsung T5. So highly recommend it if you need a speedy drive, but don't wanna break the bank. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. This is Jeff with 9to5Mac.